So those of you who have been following the channel for a while know that I have made a dresser for my bedroom, I've made the whole bed, and now it's time to make the end table. Um, I'm going to make one, and then eventually my wife is going to make one for her size. We're going to make two different things that are exactly what we want. And I want it to kind of fit the style of what I've been making. So here is um, basically the, the rough design on this. So the way I design is it's all in my head. Everything I design is in my head. I pick one dimension of this that I want to be. In other words, I need it to be the height and the length of this, and then I'll go up and measure a spot that I want, and how wide can it be. Once I have those three pieces in my brain, I come to the, down to the shop and I start building it, because all of the dimensions and everything I need are, are in me. It's not something I think about. However, I need to approve this by my wife, so that means I draw out something in SketchUp. And so we have this rough design in here. So I know if you're on this channel, you don't want me to go into all the nitty gritty of it. Let me just say that if you really want me to break apart this, you can go over to the second channel and I have a lot more detail actually going through all the parts of this and how this build will be looking. But for right now, let's actually just jump back into the build. Next, I come over here to my lumber rack and I take a look at what I want. Now, I want most of this to be quarter sawn white oak. Um, and thankfully, I've got a pretty decent stack of this stuff, uh, which is over 100 years old. Um, some of it still has finish on it. Some of it's nice and clean. Um, like this one, I'm going to need to do a good bit of work on still. So I'm going to be pulling a lot out of that, but that's not going to be enough. So I do have some more down here, and I actually have a decent amount of white oak and stock. Um, not all quarter sawn, but I'll pull out what I can. The question is the top. That needs to be 18 inches wide, and I don't have any 18 inch wide boards. I have a couple that are 12 and a half. So that means I'm going to have to sandwich them together, um, and I want it to be a full three quarter inch so I can't butterfly. I'm going to have to kind of play with that. So I'm going to pull out some scrap and, and see what I can get for the top. And then I'm going to need some inch and a half inch thick stuff for the legs. And thankfully, I've got quite a bit of inch and a half inch thick white oak that will make some really nice legs. For the hashes, I actually need some stuff that's 3 eighths. And I've got some of this that has finish on already. It's a little over 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to trim that up for a few of them. But I don't have quite enough of it. So some of it I'm actually going to have to rip because it needs to be 3 quarter by 3 eighths. So I'm actually going to rip 3 quarter stock into 3 eighths inch strips. Of both of the front stretchers out of this one. So let's mark those as eighths. So this will only be one of the number seven. So I'm going to mark it with a seven dash one piece. Here's thin ish. This one then is seven dash two. So, uh, so that's one foot three. So if I have one foot six, I can get both of them out of it. Let's wait on that one then. Now, do I have any that are four and a half wide? You're long though. So I need. Yeah, let's hold off on that one. So number five, I can get that over here. Ooh, that one's got some nice curl on it. I like that. Okay, we can set that one aside. That one's got some nice figure. Yeah, that's the board I want. That's my tops and stretchers. That's pretty. I like that one. So, uh, my tops are going to need to be ripped out of that. So I'm going to need to double the length of each one. So I'm going to need four foot eight inches for the main top. So I got to there. Let's see, do I have three foot? Yeah, I've got three foot. So we'll just make that into there. So that'll be my tops. My tops can come out of that. Then I need the stretchers. So let's do something like that and I'll get my main stretchers out of this thing. Uh, one foot five. So that will come out of this one. It's a foot five. So I'm going to mark it foot five and a half. There's something really fun about using a buck saw for normal woodworking. I know, it's made for just bucking logs, but for rough cutting, it goes really nice.
This isn't big enough for two, is it? Nope, there. And then I need 10 and a half inches each. And 22. And a half. And then four foot eight and one inch. Bad cramp, slipped off, gashed the knee. Say no to nails. Right there, nothing special. Just cut them roughly the size they need to be. Green. So there you have it. I am working through this project, probably about another four or five videos or so. We're going to be building the structure uh, and then building the drawer, building the top frame and the hash and the finish and lots of things. We'll like to go through this in detail. And then at the end, I will have an overview video so you can see it all. This is going to be a fun one. It is a great project because there are lots of different functionalities and it's a very compact piece, lots of things into it. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this. If you want to actually see more detail on the build, I have a whole second channel where I'm putting a lot of the how-to and I'm actually talking through the plans on there and have a lot more information on that one. If you are wanting plans on this, I will have them available when the whole project is done. I'm going to be building through it and then I'll modify the plans to fit what is actually done. So if the whole series is done, there are links to it down below. Uh, if not, I will be providing early access to some of the links to patrons on Patreon. So thank you for that. If you do have any other thoughts or ideas, comments, let me those down below. I do read through all of the comments and I answer as many as I possibly can. So thank you. That does help out the channel. Hitting like, share, subscribe, and putting the comments down below keeps us in front of more people and helps that algorithm. So thank you. Also, there are a bunch of people who are scrolling over here on the side. They are the patrons on Patreon. They are the ones quite literally keeping this channel going because we are completely sponsored by you, the viewer. Thank you. Um, as well as people who've clicked the little join button down below, we would not be here without, uh, without you guys. So uh, if you'd like to find out more about that, links to Patreon down below, click the little join button. We have special perks for everyone involved. And until next time, have a wonderful day. You've heard of knockdown furniture, but what is it if you haven't actually built it yet and it's just knocked down? <laughs>